Welcome back! Alexander, in search of the land of the Green Isles, has been shipwrecked and washed up on this unknown beach. Is he anywhere near his destination? We'll find out shortly. For those of you who uh, don't remember or didn't watch my King's Quest V Let's Play, the reason Alexander wanted to come here was to meet Princess Cosima. Cosima had been held captive by Mordak as well, and was freed when King's Quest v, uh, when Graham defeated Mordak in King's Quest V. And um, Alexander and Cosima met briefly, and Alexander was immediately taken by the beautiful young woman and promised to visit her. Unfortunately, he forgot to ask for her address, or at the very least directions. And it seems Cosima was being held captive by Mordak because um, the vizier employed by her parents was friends with Mordak, and Mordak wanted uh, to marry Cosima. But of course, she refused. In any case, we uh, are now trying to find her and have ended up on this beach doing so. Well, before we uh, find out where we are, let's uh, make sure there's nothing important on the beach. There's this thing over here, blinking. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. That sounds like a... Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. That sounds like a fairly important thing. I'm actually going to uh, increase the speed slightly. Again, there's no uh, option to have text and speech. It's text or speech. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of any fan-made patches to fix this situation like there are for King's Quest... Uh, for Space Quest 4. Anything else on this beach? Broken pieces of Alexander's ship litter the beach. How about this large beam? A long plank lies on the beach. No doubt it once belonged to Alexander's ship. Let's see if we can take uh, any of this stuff. Alexander pushes the plank to one side. A box has been partially buried under sand. Or move it to uncover a box. Alexander's treasure box lies partially buried in the sand. It must have washed ashore with the other ship debris. A treasure box it must contain great riches then. Or not. There's a copper coin in the treasure box. The coin bears the seal of Devantry and King Graham's noble face. Well, at least it's something to remind us of home while we're stuck in this strange unknown land. Alexander takes the coin and leaves the ruined box where it is. Okay, time to venture into this island and find out if it's uh, anywhere near where we wanted to go. Well, it's certainly a nice-looking place. And at the very least, it's not a deserted island, because I can spot a village and a castle, which typically means that there's people about. A grand old tree stretches its luxurious limbs out over the crossroads. Alexander is standing at a crossroads. To the left, he can see a village. To the right, a castle. From the south come the sounds of the sea. Look at ourself. Alexander searches for a way to reach the black-haired girl whose memory will not escape him. Indeed. To the left, a small village seems to invite the weary traveler. In the distance, a majestic castle shines in the sun. 
Well, the village might invite a weary traveler, but um, I guess the castle is a better bet to find out where we are. So let's go there first. It looks like the castle is being guarded by dogs. That's interesting. Alexander is standing in front of a fabulous castle. The path from the crossroads leads to the castle entrance. The entrance is being guarded by two dog-like creatures. The castle appears to be of Moorish architecture. Its marbled walls and delicate inlaid mosaics are unlike anything Alexander has ever experienced before. His own home, though lovely and dear to his heart, seems rough-hewn compared to this delicate beauty. Indeed. Makes uh, Castle Daventry a bit crummy by comparison. Two guards take their stance in front of the castle doors. They look quite fierce and have the stiff, blank expression of soldiers on formal duty. Let's see if they can tell us where we are. Alexander politely addresses the odd-looking guards at the castle doors, hoping to learn more about his predicament. Good day to you guards. I was cast upon this island in a storm, and I'm a little confused about my location. Could you tell me what place this is, and who lives in this castle? Hey, what is that you say? A castaway? A likely story! We haven't had any foreigners in this part since El Hazaret arrived! Ah, uh, don't be so rude, Gruff. He's not asking for any secrets. You're standing on the Isle of the Crown, lad, and this is the Castle of the Crown. The royal family resides here. Uh, rather, what's left of the royal family. The Isle of the Crown? But tell me, am I anywhere near the land of the Green Isles? This is the land of the Green Isles. The Isle of the Crown is the main island, foolish boy. Then Princess Cosima must live in this very castle. How lucky. Aye. The princess is indeed our treasure jewel to God, and we consider it an honor. Well, that was a short game then. I mean, we already found what we were looking for. All we need to do is ask these guards to let us inside, meet with Cosima. I don't know, get married, have lots of babies. Excuse me, guardsmen. Uh, uh, guard dogs. I've been traveling for months to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. I'm not a stranger. I really must see the princess. Could I speak with someone in charge? Who are you that I should bother Captain Saladin, huh? My name is Alexander. I am a prince of Daventry and a friend of the princess. A prince, is it? I see. Yeah, and I am lord of this dusty path. Step aside. You'll not be getting into this castle without some proof of your claims. Well, nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Lord of this dusty path. I assure you, I am Prince Alexander of Daventry. And I assure you that you'll not get past me without proof. Let's see. Do we have anything to prove who we are? Well, we have a coin from Daventry. That at the very least proves that we uh, have been there, I guess. Or that we found the coin from Daventry. Okay, this is probably not going to work. But let's try it anyway. As proof of my country, I have this coin. It bears a Daventry mint. A beggar can own such a coin as well as a prince. This proves nothing. But the image on the coin's face is that of my father, the king. Really? Then you must take after your mother. I see no resemblance. Well, it's not as if 
you know, pictures on coins are known for their detail and accuracy. Okay, let's try the ring. That, uh, being a royal insignia ring, might have a bit uh, better chance of convincing them. Alexander decides to try his royal insignia ring on the guards. With all of his papers lost in the shipwreck, it is the only possible proof of his identity that he can think of. Perhaps this ring will convince you of my identity. It is the royal insignia ring of Daventry. Ha! I'm sure! Just let me take a look at that ring. Well, uh, I'm sorry, your highness. It's just that princes are so uncommon in these parts. Let me get Captain Saladin. Finally, somebody's listening to us. Talk to someone in charge. The guard returns a moment later with a majestic looking creature. Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle, but reflects a will of iron. Prince Alexander of Daventry, I presume. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with your country, but I'm sure Wazir al Hazred will want to meet you, if indeed you are a friend of the princess. Please, follow me. Meet the Vizier, eh? Why can't we meet the King and Queen? Or Kasima. Lord Alhazred, a visitor to see you. Prince Alexander of Daventry. What is it that you seek, Prince Alexander? Pardon the intrusion, my lord, but I came to see Princess Kasima. Some months ago, my father, King Graham, saved my family and I from imprisonment under an evil wizard named Mordak. The same wizard that kidnapped the princess? Exactly. When my father rescued us, he also liberated Kasima and sent her home. Then your father has my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. But I'm afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your visit. <clears throat> well, I came to make sure that Kasima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I have no doubt she did exactly that at the time, Prince Alexander. However, things have greatly changed for Kasima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. Kasima's parents both became ill and died while she was gone. Kasima is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. Even if she were, I do not think your visit would be appropriate. You see, it is time for Kasima to take her responsibilities seriously. With her parents gone, she no longer has the luxury to be a carefree maiden. As was her parents' wish, Kasima and I are to be wed. We shall rule the kingdom together. I assure you, our marriage is all Kasima wants now. As a prince and a gentleman, it would be best that you leave before there is any further embarrassment. I see. I suppose that I was mistaken. I thought for certain that Kasima... Well, I apologize. A young man sees what he wishes to see. I'm sorry you've wasted your time traveling to the land of the Green Isles. May your journey home be swift. Perhaps I will take the opportunity to look around your fair land while I'm here. I would advise against that. The kingdom is rather, shall we say, inhospitable these days. But it is your neck. You may risk it if you please. Captain Saladin will escort you from the castle. Good day. I got the feeling we're not welcome here. You have had your hearing with Wizir al Hazred. I trust you'll respect his wishes and not return. I have been instructed not to let you into the castle again. 
Good day, my lord. Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs at the castle gate, and they nod with understanding. Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. Well, that went well. Or, you know, not. We'll continue in the next video.